Messenger may peace be upon him, used to subjugate in these words. Our Lord, grant us the good in this world and the good in the hereafter, and save us from the torment of the hellfire. And as he prayed, that the wise messenger may peace be upon him, used to supplicate in these words. Our Lord, grant us good in this world and good in the hereafter, and save us from the torment of the hellfire. Abu Hurairah reported that Allah's messenger may peace be upon him as saying he who uttered these words there is no God but Allah the one having no partner with him sovereignty belongs to him and all the praises due to him he is potent over everything 100 times every day there is a reward of emancipating 10 slaves for him and there are recorded 100 virtues to his credit and 100 vices are blotted out from his scroll and that is a safeguard for him against the Satan on that day till evening. And no one brings anything more excellent than this. Is that one who has done this, who utters these words more than 100 times and does more good acts. And he who utters, hallowed be Allah, and all praise is due to him. 100 times a day, his sins are obliterated even if they are equal to the extent of the foam in the ocean. Abu Hurairah reported, Allah's messenger may peace be upon him, saying, He who recites in the morning and in the evening these words, Hallowed be Allah, all praise is due to him 100 times. He would not bring on the day of resurrection anything excellent than this except one who utters these words or utters more than these words. Certainly the most powerful enemy. These qualities must be the attributes of joy countries. But we by no means should be guided by them. Our right lies in most. Word right means nothing more than give me what I desire so that I may have evidence that I am stronger than you. Temporary evil to which we are now obliged to have recourse for the birds, the good, for that sake of all the governments, which will reinstate the only repulsion of the mechanism of popular. I've never been Maimun. Reported, he who uttered, there is no God but Allah, the one having no partner with him. His is the sovereignty, and all praise is due to him, and he is potent over everything. Ten times, he is like the one who emancipated four slaves from the progeny of Ismail. Rabi bin Kuthayim narrated a hadith like this. Shabi reported, I said to Rabi, from whom did you hear it? He said, from Amr B. Maimun. I came to Amr B. Maimun. I said to him, from who did you hear this hadith? He said, from Ibn Abi Layla. I came to Ibn Abi Layla and said to him, from who did you hear this hadith? He said, from Abu Ayyub Ansari, who narrated from Allah's messenger. Peace be upon him. I came right out of the messenger's mouth. Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, saying, There are two expressions which are light on the tongue, but heavy on the scale, clear, dear to the compassionate one. Hallowed be Allah, and praise is due to him. Hallowed be Allah the Great. I like that protocol. That's my favorite one. Protocol of Zion. Here's a here's a protocol of anti Zion. Abu Hurairah reported Allah's messengers may peace be upon him as saying the uttering of these words 
Hallowed be Allah, all praise is due to Allah. There is no God but Allah, and Allah is the greatest. Is dearer to me than anything over which the sun rises. triumph to get this far. Okay. Musab B. Sa'ad reported on the authority of his father that a desert Arab came to Allah's messenger and may peace be upon him and said to him, Teach me the words which I should often utter. He said, utter, There is no God but Allah, the one, having no partner with him. Allah is the greatest of the great, and all praise is due to him. Hallowed be Allah, the Lord of the worlds. There is no might and power but that of Allah, the all-powerful and the wise. He, that desert Arab, said, These all glorify my Lord, but what about me? Thereupon the Holy Prophet said, You should say, O oh Allah, grant me pardon, have mercy upon me, Direct me to righteousness and provide me sustenance. Musa, one of the narrators, said, I think he also said, grant me safety, but I cannot say for certain whether he said this or not. Ibn Abi Shaiba has not made mention of the words of Musa in the narration. The founder of Jewish Romanism. And I was a man who was a great organization which would put into action a union of Jews for civilization in science. Okay. That would be Oh, I love this one. Annas reported Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, used to supplicate in these words. Our Lord, grant us the good in the world, in this world, and the good of the hereafter, and save us from the torment of hellfire. <laughs> 